Alfa Romeo. Even the sound of the name is enough to set the pulse racing and to put you in mind of a, a finer, more exciting era. A time when racers really were racers and their moustaches almost too big to fit into the cars they raced. But can you believe an Alfa Romeo estate? Surely that's taken the whole practical, sensible car thing just a little bit too far. Well, I don't know. Because looking at it, it's hardly a box, is it? Far from it, in fact. It's positively sloopy, a sort of italicised estate car. Oops, did it again, use the E word. Not an estate, it's a sports wagon. And if anything, it does have their heritage to match up to that name, based as it is on the gorgeous 156, with the same rather growly, frowny and certainly purposeful front end, the same really carved, very beautiful lines, and the same hidden door handles on the rear passenger doors to give it that more coupe-esque look. But then it all changes at the back, where we have this beautifully shaped, um, well, estate car rear, even with an integrated spoiler and a hatch that opens up into the roof to give reasonable access. Hmm, sports wagon, eh? Well, let's find out. Ah, yes. Forgot. It is, after all, still an estate car underneath. Neither is there anything in the drive to suggest you're behind the wheel of anything other than an ordinary 156. That means to say, yes, it's as dynamic and exciting as ever, it's still a little bit vague about the straight ahead as well, and perhaps the gear change could be a little less notchy. Other than that, it is still very much an Alfa Romeo to drive, and all the fun that that implies. It's not just an extra bit of boot that they've added on to the 156 to make the sport wagon. It's about another thousand pounds as well, which means they start at just a shade under 15,000. That's for the entry level 1.6 engine version, rising to 20 and a half thousand for the 2.5. But in that range, don't forget, there's some more interesting alternatives, such as the very handy JTD with the superb turbo diesel engine at about 18 and a half thousand pounds. Heck, if you're going to have an alternative estate, you might as well have an alternative form of engine. The free Italian car ferry wandered up and gave you your choice of Alfa Romeo 156. You could have either the ordinary 156 or this, the sports wagon. Well, if it were me, I've got to say, I'd have this, the sports wagon. Putting the practicality issues aside, purely because I think it actually looks better and being turned into this sports wagon really hasn't affected the drive. It's still great fun to pilot along the roads. So there you go. I'd go for the estate version of the Alfa Romeo. Who'd have thought it? Oh, yes, and the practicality. Well, it's nice, but who cares? It's an Alfa Romeo.